Let's roll. Sonic is back and with a new TV series and game combination for the fans. I decided to get an early look at the game Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. And well, let's just say I'm disappointed. I mean, what happened with this title? I've heard about dumbing down games, but this is just... Wow. When I first played this game, I felt exactly like this. I cannot believe this shit. Okay, so here's the story. Sonic and the Boom Squad are chasing Eggman down and end up getting ambushed by Metal Sonic and a bunch of robots and back into a lost temple. Moments later, the team explores and jumps their way into a mysterious chamber in where Sonic unleashes Lyric, Ancient of Destruction, onto the world. Now it's literally up to Sonic, somehow related to the events of the past, and his team to form up and stop the dangers awaiting for a helpless and beautiful world from Eggman and the mysterious Lyric. The world of Sonic Boom looks good, it looks decent and sometimes beautiful, but most of the time you'll get some bland and dry colors as well. But the world designs are very creative, and each section of the world are connected by well-known Sonic tracks and loop-de-loops. The game uses CryEngine, which is known for their awesome world and shooters, but average character models. Character models can look good and bad at the same time. Watch his Knuckles' hair flow in the wind, and him pounding enemies into the ground, while Sonic Sonic's spin dash looks kind of sloppy, and you can see some white streams that kind of look out of place. For the frame rates, you have a lot of hiccups, especially in co-op. I will show, and I'll explain later. And in music-wise, it's kind of a mixed bag, but mostly dull, repetitive drawing of dry, tidbit tones, and not lively music tones from like games of Lost World and Sonic Colors. Now for gameplay, I'm going to do a fair comparison between Crash Bandicoot and Sonic Hero. Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric doesn't focus on speed, but rather on combat and exploration. So the game will slow down to enhance platforming and fighting. Energy leashes are the big thing in Sonic Boom. Energy leashes are used in real clever ways. You can use them to take shields away from enemies, grab them, and lasso them for combat. They're also mainly used for puzzles, platforming, and boss fights. Sling Bringing baddies at bosses and riding on rails with the leash is one cool experience. And this game is made and built for co-op to play with your friends. Now you do have a 2D section while playing the game but it's mainly used for puzzle platform. And each character has their own gimmick in platform. Like Knuckles can climb with his claws while Sonic can spin dash up half pipes and loop de loops and Tails can float and Amy has triple jumps and she's more athletic. Travel the world helping nearby friends who need help with danger and finding relic parts. Sonic Boom is, consists of mission-based gameplay for side missions in the game. There are no more live systems, which is a plus, which means there's less and less game over screens, just restart checkpoints. And pitfalls doesn't slow down the game like the others either, you just respawn back where you fell from. Now here's some negatives. The running sections are reduced to temple run gameplay, which is kind of a shame. And there are clumsy controls that you have to get used to. Also there's unnecessary ring collecting, cause once you collect a hundred you don't get any extra lives which you are built upon to get used to back in the older game. So once you get a hundred then you have to stop your habit of collecting rings. And there are high spike frame rates. Speaking of frame rates, during co-op, gameplay has breaking glitches in the game and sometimes slow to a crawl. But when you play solo, the frame rates are a little better and the game looks good. Also, there are some game breaking glitches in the game that sends Sonic or whatever team or partner you're using into like a bottomless pit and you have to restart the game over again. And this game has these in many different areas, which should have been tested in QA, but it doesn't break the game entirely. So for the final verdict of Sonic Rise of Lyric, I'm giving gameplay and design a C+. Like games before, like Crash Bandicoot, Sonic Heroes, and Ratchet & Clank all for one, the key thing here is teamwork and that's really good design. Plus the universal uses of energy leashes are the game saving grace. Bosses are fun to take down and each of them has their own setup and cool patterns to learn and execute. Seeing new and old characters bring that old Sonic charm and I do see the potential here for the new series of Sonic. But the game is still lacking, and the adventure is not that great, but decent. And combat is repetitive and dumbed down for all the wrong reasons. Side missions just lead to more and more puzzle platforming and box breaking, which also become repetitive and boring. 
but co-op is fun and feels like it was made for players to come together. But there is a hitch when you do play co-op with somebody else, and that's the visual spikes and frame rates. Hopefully QA and the creators can fix that with glitches and the hiccups in this game with a patch, because Sonic doesn't need another bad game like Sonic 06. But this is far from it, and it's a good improvement and good potential for this new Sonic Boom series. For replay value, it's a pretty large campaign, which is about 10 hours plus. Really good game. And for the consumer report, mid price, buy it new, and support the series. Sonic is back and in a new way, and I'm really glad to see that they're taking this new direction. One of my favorite characters is Styx, her paranoid self. Watch the cartoon series as well. I caught it, and it's really good. It's not like I'm paranoid. Well that's it for today's video, but if you want to see more, go ahead and click on my main channel, Alter Element Games. There I have videos ranging from gameplay highlights, full video game reviews, music soundtracks from some of the best games, and gaming and news updates. Keep it live here at Alter Element Games, and visit my fan page on Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for supporting my channel. Cafe LA, peace and love, I'm out of here. Alter Element Games where gameplay is everything.